Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Devin Torres representing simplycody.com. And hey, it feels great to be back in the mix again today with another quick how to video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily install Kodi on your Amazon Fire TV devices. I'm also going to show you how to install it on an Android TV box and on your Windows PC computer. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate how to install any add-ons in this video. This one is strictly about how to install Kodi onto your devices. If you need more help or if you need to know how to install like a build on your device, then just look down below in the description. I'll leave a link to some of the videos which will show you how to do that. Or you can visit my website, simplycody.com, and you'll see other how-to videos which will show you everything you need to know. All right? Now, before we move too far along in the video, I have to let you know, folks, that before you install Kodi or any of the apps that I show you on this channel, which allow you to stream pirated movies and TV shows, then you should consider getting a VPN. Now, I know that even as much as I talk about VPNs, there's probably still some of you out there that are wondering what is a VPN and I'm glad you asked because it's a virtual private network and basically what it does is it's a tool that helps you to remain anonymous while online. Now this comes in handy especially when you're online watching pirated movies. <laughs> All right. Now if you notice here I'm using IP Vanish and basically what it's doing is look up there in the upper left portion of the screen. It says that I'm in South Korea. When folks, I assure you that I'm not in South Korea, okay? I'm right here in the good old US of A. But if you're a bad guy or someone that's spying on my online activity, then you won't know that. <laughs> now, if you want some more information on IP Vanish or how all of this stuff works, then I'll leave a link down below in the description or you can visit my website. I'm going to say it again, simplycody.com. I have a whole section out there dedicated to VPNs. Now, moving right along, let's go ahead and get the party started. Now, right away, I'm going to let all of you with Android phones, Android TV boxes or PCs off the hook because everything you need in order to install Kodi can be found in your app store. So I'm on my Android TV box here. I've gone into the Google Play Store. I'm just going to type in the word Kodi and search for it. I see it right there in the list of apps. All you have to do, folks, is install it and open it up. You're on your way. Now, it's really just that simple, folks, and it's just as easy when you're on your Windows computer. I'm just going to open up the Microsoft Store, and after I get the store opened, I'm going to go over to Apps. I'm going to tap over there where it says Search. I'm going to type in the word Kodi. I see the app there in the list. I'm just going to select it, and then I'm going to go down and select Install. And just like that, folks, it's going to install the app on my computer, and I'm in business. All right? Easy, folks. Easy. So all of you with an Android device or a Windows computer, you're done. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> Now, for everyone else with the Amazon TV device, then go ahead and get your remotes. I'm going to show you how to get this installed. Now, the very first thing I want you to do is let's go across the top to settings. And after you're in settings, I want you to scroll over to the right and select my Fire TV. And after you select it, I want you to go down and select developer options. All right. Now, when you're in developer options, I want you to turn on the ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. All right. Fantastic. Now, after you've done that, go ahead and hit the home button on your remote. Let's go back to the main Amazon screen. And what I want you to do is use that magnifying glass right there to the left of the word home. Whenever you highlight it, it's going to bring up this virtual keyboard. And when it does, I want you to type in the word downloader. All right. We're going to search for and install the downloader app. So when you see it in the list, go ahead and click on it. 
and it's going to take you here to apps and games and if you look there you'll see the app i'm going to go ahead and select it and i want you to do the same now what i want you to do next is go ahead and install the app on your device mine says download you own it because i've already downloaded it before but yours will probably say get it so go ahead and get it <laughs> now if i'm going too fast for you folks just pause the video once you get caught up press play again it won't hurt my feelings i promise all right now after the app has been installed let's go ahead and open it up and whenever you open it up for the very first time you'll probably see this pop up just read it hit ok and make it go away all right now Go ahead and tap the uh, button in the center of the navigation wheel on your remote. And when you do, it's going to bring up a virtual keyboard. Now, when the keyboard comes up, it already has the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash part. So all you have to type in is simplycody.com forward slash downloads. All right. Now, as always, I'll be sure to put that info down below. But again, it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash simplycody.com forward slash downloads. All right. Now, if you get it typed in, select go and it's going to take you to my website. All right. Welcome. <laughs> now, once you're here on the website, do yourselves a favor. Go up there and select those three lines next to the word go. And I want you to go ahead and add this page to your favorites. Now, the reason why I want you to do this is because you never know. You might want to come back out here at some point in time in the future. And if you do, all you have to do is open up the downloader app and then you can go over here to favorites. And after you select favorites, you'll see simply Cody. You just go ahead and click on it and boom, you're right back on the site and you didn't have to type in the long address. All right. Now, back to the business at hand, what I want you to do is scroll down the list here. You're going to go past the uh, movies and TV show apps. You're going to go past the live TV apps and you're looking for media players and other resources. Now, once you get to that section, if you look right below it, you'll see the Cody download link there. Go ahead and select it and it's going to take you to Cody's downloads page. Now, once you're here on the page, all you have to do is scroll down just a little bit and you're looking for the section that says choose your weapon. And when you get there, click on the green Android man. All right. Or Android bot, whatever it is. <laughs> And then we're going to select the one right here in the middle, the one that says a uh, 32 bit. And we're just going to wait for the uh, APK to download. And after it downloads, then it's going to bring up what I refer to as the install page. And when this page comes up, just scroll down to the bottom right and select install. All right. And it's going to start to install Cody, the application onto your devices. All right. Great job. I knew you could do it after it's done. You can go ahead and open it up. But I prefer that instead of opening the app up right away, I prefer that you select done and then delete the APK that we just downloaded. You know, after we have the app installed, the APK is just taking up space on our devices. So I like to get rid of it. Now, after you've done that, go ahead and hit the home button on your remote. It's going to take you back to the main Amazon screen. And if you look under your apps and channels, you'll see that you have successfully installed the application. Go ahead and open it up. Give yourselves a big old round of applause, a big old pat on the back because you have succeeded. <laughs> I'm just having a little fun, folks. Now, after you install Cody, then it's up to you. You can install add ons one at a time or you can install a build which has a bunch of add ons already pre configured into a nice, user friendly, easy to use menu. OK, that's the best way that I could describe it. Now, there is no right or wrong way, folks. It's just a matter of preference. OK, whichever one you prefer, that's how you can go from this point. Now, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'll post some links down below that'll show you how to install add ons or builds. 
And don't forget, folks, you can also visit my website. I'm sure you know the name by now, but just in case you forgot, it's simplycody.com. I'll have this video and other how to videos just like this out there on the site. And I guarantee you, folks, I have some videos out there that will show you how to easily install add ons or builds on your devices. All right. So go check it out. Now, hopefully you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, make sure you share it with all your friends and family. And if you like the video, make sure you go down below and smash that like button for me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I drop new videos. And if you want to, you can even follow me on Instagram. That's at D Torres. I'll be sure to leave all my info down below, but that's really all i have for today folks i'm out thanks for watching the video peace